the main things that we do here is uh, during the mornings we take care of the animals, we clean them and feed them, and as well we take a walk with the dogs. And uh, during we have some activities with uh, children with autism, like for example makeup. And then the other uh, activities that we do are uh, sending uh, almost every day. And uh, the last uh, few months we were focusing more in make events here. It's a very difficult question because each days are different. Uh, we have a lot of different tasks and it's really difficult to answer this question uh, actually. I don't know, for example, this week we were, I am preparing uh, the new exhibition uh, mainly and I have to create a new map of the world and I have, and the volunteers, we have to prepare something about that. So this is the routine for this week, for example. But yeah, it depends on uh, the time of the year or whether or not we have an upcoming exhibition. And also we have ongoing tasks that also require more time, or we have to do every day. For example, for me, that's updating the Outstanding Hall's Instagram account. And uh, we usually have a coffee break, so a fika, in the afternoon with the boss where we talk about the schedule and the things we have done. And we usually finish at 6 o'clock, then we close everything, close the gate and go home. Well, basically the main thing that we have to do at work here in Phoenix is to interact with the teenagers who will come here. So we organize, try to organize various activities for them, games, uh, contests, tournaments, we cook together, I don't know, so we dance together, we sing. So the routine is quite nice actually. Come here, check if everything's ready, and after that we're just starting for, uh, <coughs> getting kids in, and with the kids we start playing, talking, entertaining. And after that, of course, after all the kids are gone, we're just taking all the stuff and making it clean. It's really important because we got a lot of kids here from different cultures and so while we were having uh, the volunteers EVS they come from different cultures and that's really important so you can meet at one place many different cultures from different countries they evicted I, 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 alltså, vi är med i EU och jag tycker det är viktigt att eh, kommuner och organisationer eh, eh, ja, förbereder sig på ett, ett mer internationellt samarbete och um, alla må väl av att lära känna varandras kultur och att man själv får ifrågasätta sin, sin egen kultur eller liksom bara bolla den mot andra. Uh, well, we have had two volunteers, Esther and Gabby. Esther is from Spain and Gabby is from Hungary. They have teach us a lot, actually. Uh, we have spoken a lot of English, that's good. And we have also learned a bit of Spanish and Hungarian. Uh, they have also done a lot of activities and they, they have showed us that we can do activities in different way. So we have learned a lot of new methods and they have all also arranged uh, interesting events like the apple pie event with apple pie from all over the world. So it's a lot of exchange through the language and the culture and the way of thinking and working. So we definitely want more volunteers. We brought a lot of different perspectives. Um, we are working with animals and with people with disabilities and we have different activities and uh, they always brought some new perspective and they were really sociable and nice and uh, um, actually talked to a lot of people about different cultural things and uh, uh, they were just like a really uh, a good valuable source to like joy for everyone. Um, and even if they are working with animals or small children and even if the language was a barrier in some cases with the animals there's no barrier everyone can speak dog uh, so that was not a problem so I think that they brought 
a lot of positive things, um, especially just like being very sociable and not seeing like language as a barrier or anything else. Um, they were just, uh, yeah, they, they were very well fitted in our organization because I think that's, um, I think that meeting people from different cultures always brings something different to the table and yeah, they were really good at that. My best memory is having a longer conversation with a Swedish woman in Stockholm, completely in Swedish, which was a huge experience being able to understand Swedish and communicate in Swedish. And I also have a lot of wonderful memories just walking around in the city, around the lake and in the forest, around this amazing nature that Sweden has. For me, the best memory is uh... Midsummer, that is the longest daytime here in Sweden, is in uh, June and uh, it's bright until 11. So we spent a really nice day together with the friends and uh, we had a nice lunch for dinner and uh, we were playing games outside and uh, at the end of the day we were sitting in the grass and talking and laughing and that was a really nice memory. It's uh, difficult to, to pick just one. I had a lot of really nice memories in here at Phoenix and also together with other volunteers in Becker and I don't know during our time at our on arrival training in Stockholm. So we had we had a lot of really nice moments and I will have a lot of things to remember when I come back from here. So I can't really pick one. <laughs> so yeah. Well at the beginning I wasn't sure like uh... Oh, I think we had the, all of us have the same feeling like with a bit of fears, but then I don't know. It's a, a very familiar uh, feeling that you get, and uh, all the volunteers you make like a little family. And uh, for me, it's one of the best uh, experience that I had in my life. And of course, I would like to make this be longer. <laughs> Become an adult, and at the same time, you develop a lot, of course and uh, you make international friends that's uh, that's that you can truly really do it it's like not just you you can find opportunity that easy and with EVS is is a uh, is a very nice uh, chance to do this and uh, yeah you get more responsibility for things and you improve your creativity a lot and your problem solving so it's uh, good in all the aspects. <laughs> it was one of the cutest moments I experienced in the last. Uh, Did you record it? Hour. Yeah, Did you record it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I hope so. No, but make, click it again. Because I don't.